Howdy partners, I'm Hyla. Today I'm going to make a little rice pilaf. Rice pilaf is a good thing to know how to make because if you're making a special meal, just take an extra five minutes, make a rice pilaf, press your loved ones, tell that rice -a to go to heck. today is some onion, celery, garlic, some long grain, jasmine rice, some spices. Um, if you want detailed instructions, we do have a website, hylacooking.com. It's got the whole archive of every episode, and each episode has a write-up by yours truly with detailed instructions and ingredient lists, so check that out if you want to make this. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up my vegetables for my pilaf. Okay, I have everything chopped up. You might have noticed it was really fast. Okay, next I'm gonna turn on my skillet, I mean my stove, and let that heat up. And I put in a little bit of butter, like maybe just a little teaspoon of butter, and then also the same amount of olive oil. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna put in my cut up stuff and let that saute for a moment. Oh shit. I'm spilling stuff all over the place today. Okay, I'm gonna put in a bay leaf. Mix that around. Now, I don't really want it to brown, I just want it to kind of soften up, so just for maybe a minute or so, let that. In the meantime, I'm going to measure one cup of rice. Got some lovely jasmine rice today. You can use whatever you want, and you could use brown rice too, but just you'd have to let it cook longer. I'm going to put this in and stir it around in that oil and let each piece get coated in oil and it will be all fluffy and good. Okay, so the rice grains are starting to look a little shiny and that means that they're getting covered in oil, which is good. And if they start to get a little toasted, then that is okay with me. That just means toasty flavored goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put in a little salt and pepper. Wow, <laughs> made a little bit of a mess. A little salt and pepper, and um, then I put my water in, and then I'm gonna put a lid on it, and I'm gonna leave it the F alone for a while, and let it cook like rice does. Okay, good, good. I'm going to add the water and it's going to go psh Wow. Totally sounds like an underwater volcano. Okay, just give it a little stir. And put a lid on it. Turn it down to low and let it cook for about 20 minutes until all the water is absorbed into the rice. And then we'll eat. Mmm. Okay, so I let my rice cook for 20 minutes and then I turned off the heat and I just have let it sit for another five minutes. Um, that's just gonna make sure that all the liquid's absorbed and the rice kind of stays fluffier that way if you don't stir it up right when it's real hot um, and gets kind of like mashed, let the grains firm up a bit. And then I've got some toasted almonds that I just toasted up for about five minutes over a medium heat. I'm gonna put those in and then Toss it around and then we have rice pilaf. Ta da! Okay, I'm gonna serve up a little bowl of my rice pilaf. It's real hot. And I'm gonna taste it. It's gonna be real good.
Mmm. Mmm. It's all good and buttery, and the bay leaf has kind of perfumed the rice delicately, and the almonds are still crunchy because I put them in at the end. It's a perfect balance of textures and flavors. All right, so if you want to see that whole recipe, check out the website, hilocooking.com. Uh, subscribe to YouTube channel, tell your friends, all that stuff. And I will see you next time on another very special episode of Hila Cooking.